YouTube! Leo Shank here, host of the Extreme Fully Fishing Channel. Today is March 12, 2019. It is going to be my outing number 32 of this year, I believe. I've been fishing a little bit recently here and there, but I haven't been like really successful. So yeah, this is going to be my 32nd outing of this year. You guys may or may not know about this. If you follow me on Instagram, you absolutely know about this. This week, I'm actually down here in Clearwater, Florida on a vacation with my wife. So uh, this is actually to celebrate the fact that back in February of 2019, I got my 10 years green card, right? So I am finally an, a permanent resident unconditionally in this country meaning that I can work and live in the United States of America for as long as I want, right? That process took my wife and I three years, you know, and when the card came back in February, my wife was like, well, why don't we take a week off, right, and just go down somewhere in Florida and just relax? So here am I, I'm in Clearwater, like I told you guys, Clearwater, Florida, and, you know, <laughs> I couldn't come down here with my wife and not do a little bit of fishing right so there's like a shore right around there and i just you know kind of led my wife over there honey you can just stay there a little bit right uh, meanwhile i'll do some fishing i came to this place called clear water pass let me show you guys real quick here and you know i'm gonna walk a little bit show you guys we're gonna fish here for a few hours that's all the time that i got you know two three hours soak some shrimp see what is around you know, this is a family trip. I don't really have any major plans, but check this out, huh? The whole area is pretty beautiful, huh? It is a pretty rough day, cloudy, windy. There's actually a boat fishing right over there. Haven't seen them catch anything yet, though. So let's drop some shrimp over here, soak some bait, see what is around, and hopefully we're going to land something, yeah? Oh, testing the waters with shrimp, son. Instant hit on the little piece of shrimp. Gee, what is that? Yo, we got, <laughs> we got our first species of the day. This is a sand perch, isn't it? Yeah, there's a little cute sand perch, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, look, vibrant colors. Yo, let's put it in the photo tank. Wow, this is pretty cool, huh? First species of the day turned out to be a little sand perch. I don't know how good of a view you guys can get of this little fella. Now that I got the fish tank with me during this trip, right? I can kind of give you guys a better view of all the saltwater species that I'm going to catch out there. But yeah, this is a beautiful specimen indeed, huh? The Diplectrum formosum. I have to be very careful with this species in particular because this one has a cousin around the area that is called the dwarf sand perch. They look very alike. I am pretty much sure that this one is the sand perch, right? I just have to be on the lookout for the dwarf sand perch because I have never caught that one yet. But yeah, this is definitely, you know, a beautiful little sample right over here. I'm going to release it now over there and, uh, you know, throw some more shrimp down there to see what else shows up. Yeah, this is truly phenomenal. Check that out now. Huh? Little sand perch, first species of the day. Looking a little bit confused, yeah? All right, let's release this guy over here. He's ready, oh yeah, look at that. Whoa, he's ready to go, yeah? All right, you're good to go, little fella. Oh! Yeah, don't worry, these rocks are connected to the outside, so that fish is going to be fine. And I can use this opportunity too to just get some uh, some new salt water, yeah. Oh, there's one. Oh, there's one. I don't know what it is, but it feels decent. Actually, it feels pretty decent. Wow. Oh man, they bit the shrimp when I was dragging it back. It's pulling a little bit of drag. You know what I'm saying? Oh, I think it's a ship's head. It's a small ship's head. 
It's a small, yeah, it's a small ship's head. I'll come all the way to the front to get it. Yeah, small ship's head on the shrimp, son. Probatocephalus, right? I don't even know the genus of this dude. Yo, but they pull, look at that. Yeah, little ship's head. All right, yeah, bring it over here, son. There we go, beautiful, beautiful specimen. I just gotta take a shot at this guy and I uh, gotta release it. Second species of the day, the mighty sheep's head shows up. Uh, I'm not taking any fish home with me, so you know, I don't even know what are the sizes or limits for these guys down here. I, I don't wanna take anything with me. I just gonna quickly unhook this guy here best that I can. Wow, it got hooked pretty good. All right, I've been keeping this fish inside this little pool of water, so it's good on me. Let's put this guy back here, all right? Let him, let him go. I wish I could release it a little bit nicer, but, you know. Oh, 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 it was ready, son! And like I said, don't worry about it. These rocks, they are connected to the water so that fish will be able to go out there. See, it's going out there right now. It already went out. And uh, we're good to go. Second species of the day, all right. I ain't gonna lie to you guys. I would be delighted to catch a new species today over here, one that I have never caught before. But needless to say, two species, you know, and this is a family trip, so I'm fishing on a time constraint. It's pretty good, I'm having fun. I'm filling the waters with a high-low rig and just a three-fourths of an ounce sinker, right, pieces of shrimp. And then I got my Shimano Tunus right here, right? CI4 4000 with a big piece of shrimp all the way out there. But this rod, you know, is the bait runner, right? Didn't get any bites yet. I gotta keep filling the waters here, see what other species show up. All right, there's some small fish hitting right around here. Don't even need to cast that far away, you know, just punch it out there. It's all rocks. So I guess they're just swimming around the rocks. Oh, 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 fish on. Oh yeah, fish on. Oh, that hit, man. Oh, whoa, it's pulling right. It's probably another ship's head. Let me go down here already. I think it's another ship's head. Yo, this ship head fight hard, yo. I think it's another ship's head. My goodness, I, 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 can't, I can't pull it. Oh, I'm snagged. Oh, oh, it's out, it's out, it's out. It's out, it's out. Yeah, it went under a rock, man. Yeah, look at that, little ship's head. It's another little ship's head. Went under the rock, tried to get me snagged. Son, come over here. You ain't going nowhere. Yeah, all right. <sighs> Another ship's head. Wait, is this a ship's head? Yeah, there's a ship's head. I thought it was a little black drum, but as soon as you see the teeth in front here, the little human teeth, you know that there's a ship's head, yeah? I have to say, the ship's head is a beautiful species of fish that, high, that actually fights pretty damn hard. Man, I want to try to release this guy in front here so he doesn't go along the rocks, yeah? It should be good to go. It hasn't been out of the water for too long. Oh, damn, that one was ready, yo. Oh, got a hit. Oh, it's on. It's on. This one feels small, though. I don't know what it is. It actually feels pretty. Whoa, what is that? That's something different. Oh, that's a sand perch. That's a sand perch. You know what? I'm going to use the sand perch as cut bait. Sand perch has no minimum size and no limit and my tunnus hasn't been doing too hot out there so thankfully this guy came up yeah that's a beautiful sand perch wow this is actually perfect cut bait i actually gut hooked this fella right here so you know what i'm just gonna kill it do the one rod special off camera and uh we're gonna use this guy as cut bait you know don't waste the meat right oh boy i don't know this is actually the biggest hook that I brought down to Florida via airplane, right? So the TSA doesn't give me a hard time. I guess we're just gonna hook a juicy gut piece over here. Just like this, you know, nothing, nothing too fancy. 
and I'm just gonna cast it out there and see if anything anything hits it you know like I said nothing too fancy right but if it is a big fish should have no problem hitting something like this at all I'm just gonna bump this out there for the rest of the day or for the rest of the time and you know see if anything will hit the cut bait there you have it all right that's as far as it goes on the tunnels and set it set it down right on the drag so hopefully something a little bit bigger shows up okay I'm over that rock that was a hit that was a very light hit oh yeah oh yeah that was a very light hit fish didn't take it though what is going on here maybe too small oh it, what oh it's on maybe another sand perch because it feels small oh wow two of them it ain't sand perch it's a third species for the day what are these oh pink fish oh no pink fish i mean perfect bait the lago don't homeboy this right if they were smaller you could lifeline one of them but man the school of pink fish comes by yo they're a beautiful fish called pink fish for a reason right look at this very sharp over here and over there sharp anal spines sharp on the opercular flap that's why a lot of anglers don't really like handling them because you know you're gonna get hurt I gotta release this one here I don't I don't need additional cut bait I already got enough cut bait gotta release this one take a shot at this one here third species of the day but I don't want to catch them again let me tell you this guy is so lucky that I got bait already so I actually don't need him otherwise this would have been like my cut bait for the day the mighty little pinkfish oh look at that splashing all over me too beautiful colors check that out huh? the blue electric blue right just gonna release it right over there bye bye and it feels like pinkfish hit yeah feels like pinkfish hit maybe double pinkfish oh wow yo that's not a pinkfish that's uh that's a mohara of some sort yo that's another species for today yo oh easy easy, easy. what type of mohara is this mm, now this is a tough one it looks like a little irish mohara but i'm not 100 percent sure yo yo let's put it in the photo tank yo good news and bad news huh good news this is a species number four of the day some type of mohara uh, moharas are actually pretty hard to identify i'm leaning towards an irish mohara but i'm not sure so if you guys have any suggestions feel free to let me know i'm just gonna release this guy over here little fun mohara right here oh, oh, oh whoa yo look at that yo he's pissed he's trying to find his way out he will he will don't worry look at that oh yeah four species huh moharas are tough to identify they fight real good there are so many different types the body of that mohara was actually pretty deep so i'm leaning towards irish i'll hit the books later for now we gotta do some more fishing it's on oh yeah but maybe it's more pink fish i'm not sure yeah maybe it bit all the way out there oh wait what is that oh it's a tiny tiny it's a tiny tiny wow ship's head wait what wait is that ship there yeah, that ship's head tiny tiny ship's head yeah look at the beauty on that little fella smallest one of the day it's been pretty quiet out here you know oh easy bro easy <laughs> All right, let me unhook the guy. Oh, bro. Boop. There he goes. Wow. They're biting way out there, whatever, whatever they are. Another tiny sheep's head, maybe? Whoa, what is that? Wait, what? Whoa, easy. You have, you got to be kidding me. They even have these here. 
Yo, this is a this is a cowfish. <laughs> this is a scraw cowfish. The Acantostracion quadricornis. Wow, I feel like I'm in Fort Lauderdale now, son. This is so cool. 50 species of the day. This is one of the reasons why I love multi-species angling. Check this out, now. Never in my wildest dreams I thought I would catch one of these over here. I, I mean, I am fishing around rocks, right? And rifts, I guess you could call it. But never in my wildest imaginations and dreams I thought this fella was going to come up. Let me try to release it over here. We got here our scrawled cowfish, exotic, exotic species of the day, yo. All right. Oh, that's a beauty, yo. That's a beauty. Here, go out there. No, you're going the wrong way. Oh, it's okay. He, he, he's out. He's going to be out. Wow, that's beautiful. Hey. Take it easy, brother. Take it easy. You go in that shrimp bag. Oh. Oh, you're playing a dangerous game right here, yo. You're playing, you, you're playing a dangerous game, bird. You don't know, because you're in Florida. My name's Leo Shang. Nice to meet you. They call me the chicken killer. Be careful, you come back here to get my shrimp, son. Someone is gonna die. Get it? Chicken killer versus white thing ass bird. Who's gonna win, huh? You've been warned. It's on. It's on, it's on, it's on, it's on. What is it? Maybe it's just another little ship's head. Maybe some pink fish. Oh yeah, double pink fish. Holy moly, yo. When these pass by, wait, wait a moment. Wait a moment. Yo, you got to be kidding me, yo. We got, we got here, we got here a pig fish, the Anisotremus virginicus. Right now, wait, I don't know what it's, but, but, but yo, we got a leopard. Sea robin, we got a little part sea robin and a big fish. Grunt. Wow, yo, this is intense. Time to go to the photo tank. Yo, this is actually the first time that I have put a sea robin in the photo tank. Look at that. Look how beautiful the sea robin is. You guys can see that? Holy cow, yo. Anyways, I gotta put the pig, pig fish in here too. Oh, oh, oh easy. We're gonna take shots. We're gonna release both of them. Okay, Leo, easy, easy, one at a time, one at a time. For now, I'm taking care of the pig fish right here. Scientific name, the correct scientific name, Orthopristis, right, Chrysoptera, Anisotremus virginicus, because it's actually the pig fish. Just gonna release this fellow over here. Yeah, see, he's going down, he's coming up. Well, you, you sure you're gonna be all right, bro? Oh yeah, oh yeah, look at that, they can find it, I'm telling you, look. He's finding his way out. See? He's out. He's out. Now let's go take care of that little part, see Robin. I want to give you guys a prime view of it because that is such a beautiful creature, you know? I have to say, folks, I am beyond excited about this sea Robin right here. This is such a beautiful creature. I know the water is a little bit dirty. Let me give you guys a, a top view of this fish so you know what I'm talking about. Look, look how beautiful this fish is. This is fascinating, right? I've caught many different sea robins in my life. I mean, down in New Jersey, I've caught the striped sea robin, the Prionotus evolans. Uh, in New Jersey as well, I have caught the northern sea robin, which is the Prionotus carolinus. And this one right here is called the leopard sea robin. They have it here in the Gulf of Mexico, right? the Prionotus citulus. Three different types of sea robins, all of them super, super gorgeous. I'm gonna release this guy now, you know. Oh man, today, multi-species wise. I mean, it's my first time hitting this place. <laughs> I didn't even do any research or anything, you know. I just told my wife, go get some sun. This is fascinating. 
I have to say I am beyond fascinated with today's multi-species fishing session. Look at this beast, yo. Look at this beast, right? It is not so much about the sizes as it is the beauty of this fish. Check that out. That is a beautiful fish right there. Okay, anyways, let's release it. Leopard Sir Robin does deserve to go back and live its life happily, right? <laughs> All right, here, little fella. There you go. Wow, yo, that's gorgeous. Oh, it's on. This feels pretty good. I mean, it doesn't feel good, good, but no, it doesn't feel weak either. It feels decent. Man, anything salt water kind of feels decent, you know? It's giving a few nice pulls. I'm just wondering what it is. Always wondering which species is going to show up next. Oh, it just dove, it just dove right over here. Oh, it's a little ship's head, a little ship's head. There's one right here, I already, already got today. Another little ship's head. A bunch of ship's heads just swimming around here, munching on the shrimp. You gotta be very careful with its teeth, you know? They got this human-like teeth that you definitely, oh, you see that? Oh, you definitely don't wanna mess with these. Don't do it like EPF is doing, okay? Get a pair of pliers and then hook them properly, all right? Oh, there's a fish on. Holy cow, I didn't even feel it. That's what's up. Wow. My line kept going to the to the right, so I was just like, whoa, what is it? You know? Oh, it's a shippy, it's a ship's head. Not bad. Pretty pretty decent ship's head too. When they bite, you can barely feel the bite. Yeah, look at that, huh? Water's so clear, you can see the ship's head running down there. <laughs> Got all the stripes and everything. All right. Oh, oh, dang, yo. Take it easy on me, yeah? All right, let's land it. All right, there we go. Shippy. Oh, man, it's got a... Okay, size of my hand. Oh, that's a beautiful fish right here. Oh, wow, came right off. You see that? Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful ship's hat. Nothing too big. Whoa, oh, 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 it's behind me. This is the thing I don't like about ship's hat. You know, they will spine you, they will hurt you. Here, go back. I don't want to handle that one too much now. That one spined me pretty good. It was only a moment. Look, look. See that? Woo! Well, anyways, minor injury. Let's keep fishing. Yo, we got a fish on, on the tunas. We got a fish on the tunas. Yo, we got a fish on the tunas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We got a nice fish on the tunas. Oh yeah, no doubt, no doubt. Oh my good, this is the nice fish of the day. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Oh my goodness. Yo, I just heard my line go out on the cut bait. This is on the cut bait. Yo, what is this? What is this? On the cut bait. Yo, I heard the drag scream. Oh, it's right here to my to my right side. Oh, dude, it's a ray. Wait, what the hell is that? Did I snag that or is it on the mouth? I don't even know. Oh, I think it's on the mouth. I think it really hit the cut bait. Well, we'll find out when I bring it up. Some kind of weird ass ray. Oh, it's on the mouth. It's on the mouth. Yo, it's so powerful. It's just nagged around the tail, you know? But check that out. Blunt nose, maybe? I don't even know, man. I don't know, those things are dangerous, yo. I'm using 30 pound test, so. I can flip it up. We'll, we'll see what this is about. Uh, 
Okay, I took care. I took care of the barb here at the back. I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing for the fish. Some people say that you take off the barb and they lose their ability of self-defense against other organisms. But truth be told, folks, I mean, I am no Steve Irwin, all right? I, I don't want no trouble with this fish. I think it's gonna grow another one, okay? Ooh, that barb, man, sharp. I'm not so sure which species this is, to tell the truth. I'm not so sure if it is a blunt nose. Usually, they measure the length between the eyes to the length in front of the face to determine which species it is. So I will hit the books later. For now, I would take it to be a blunt nose, okay? It's got some thorns here in the middle. So, I mean, I'm not so sure, other than the fact that it ate the cut bait and it run like crazy. First ever fish on the tunnels, 4,000. All right, let's release it. I really thought my first ever fish on the tunnels was going to be like a game fish or something. Turns out to be, to be a ray. Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I don't mind, you know? Here, go ahead. Can you turn on your own? Yeah, he'll be fine. He's turning, he's turning. Yo, oh, is he turning? I kind of put him in a bad position. I feel bad about him, but I think he's gonna turn. Let me watch him for a little bit. Oh yeah, he turned, he turned. Okay, here, boy. I'll help you out a little bit. Here, here, I'll help you out a little bit. Go. You can do it. You can do it. I'll help you out a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's good to go. He's good to go. He's just chilling. Oh, yeah, see? Good to go. He's gone. All right. There is it. There it is. There it is. What the? Wait, what is this? What, what, wait, what, wait, what? Oh, no. I have this already. It's a, it's a, it's a black sea bass, son. I didn't come all the way down here to Florida to catch a black sea bass. The Centro Princess Istriata. So is this really a black sea bass? I mean, kind of does look like a black sea bass. I'll take a shot. I, I think it is a black sea bass. Ay, 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 this, my friends, is sad. Sad because I catch this fish in New Jersey all the time, the black sea bass. But anyways, let me release this guy here. Tide is getting pretty high. We can actually release this guy on the rock now. Ain't a problem, you know? Yeah, there we go, gone. All right, let me get some water here. Oh, there's one. Get it, boy. It's on. Let's see what we got. Oh, wow, it's up already. Oh, what is that? Wait a moment. What fish is that? Oh, 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 oh. That's going to be a new species. That's going to be a new species. Yo, yo, yo. Come up here. Come in here. Oh, ho, 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 ho. this is a new species for me. Yo. Oh, my goodness. Yo, I never caught one of these before. This is so cool. This is one of those so-called bat fishes or something. Wow. Yo, you're bringing me luck, wifey. You just got here and I got a new species. Yo, this is serious. I mean, it's an ugly one, but it's a good one. Uh, kind of ugly in its own way, cute in its own way. This is so cool. Check it out. This is called bat fish. Folks, by far, by far the coolest catch of the day hands down so many different species showed up today and as a matter of fact my wife just showed up there's another species now i'm just messing but anyways uh my wife just showed up that was true and then i was like okay 15 more minutes you know and i gotta call it a day give it a cast out there fish hits look what comes up that's why it's good to have a photo tank right i took so many shots of this creature and it is still alive i'm gonna release it soon but i, I just want to show you guys look look at this man yo this is some this is some exotic stuff right here i don't know exactly which species of bat fish this is yet but i can tell you all right this is pretty damn exotic look at that mouth yo you see that 
that is not a fish that you see every day, all right? I gotta take it out of the photo tank. You guys can have a view via this camera. But check it out. I'm gonna give you a top, top view right here. Look at that. That is sick, yo. Anyway, let's release this guy. I've caught a lot of crazy things in my life. This is one crazy fish, yo. All right, let me release it. I gotta show you guys here one last time this fish. This is some type of bat fish. I'm not entirely sure which species of bat fish this is yet. Got yellow fins here, red on its body, its face right here. Oh man, this is definitely not the prettiest of the fishes out there, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, all right, let me put back here. Okay. I think it's good to go, but let's see, let's see. I don't know how this fish works, you know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh look at that, it swims like, just like that, look at that. Oh yeah, it's hugging bottom now. Yo, so cool. That's why I do multi-species. That is, that is sick. folks what a morning it is currently 1 25 p.m i've been out here fishing for about i would say three and a half four hours and uh you know the wife just showed up right now i think she kind of got a little bit tired of uh getting some sun you know what i'm saying you you're pretty hungry uh, yeah all right i guess let's go get some lunch so i mean it was a great day here at the Clearwater Pass, I can't complain. One new species that was actually pretty sick, not to mention that so many other different species of fish showed up, right? I was seriously perplexed in a good way. I mean, I landed so many fish this morning and I've seen more sand perch, you know, than I've seen in a while, all right? That's all I have to say. So I will be here, down here with my wife, maybe for another three days i will try to fish as much as i can but you know this is a family vacation right so we will see how it goes thank you very much for watching this video guys i appreciate it thank you for all the love and support hopefully we will sneak out and uh land a few more species before this trip is over yeah tie lines yeah you didn't hear that from me okay <laughs> tie lines and take it easy i mean it's got it's got a lot of weight to it Oh, whoa, this one's pulling pretty damn good, folks. If it is a catfish, it's got to be bigger than the last two. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than the last two. Wait, is that? <gasps> that's not a catfish. Wait, is that a catfish? No, that's not a catfish. What is that? Is that a drum? Yo, what is this?